friends, today is Monday, the 30th of November, and it's my day off, and I'm back in my room looking at the Gospel, and today is the Feast of St. Andrew. The Feast of St. Andrew, and so the Gospel today, taken from the Gospel of Matthew, is the call, the call of the first disciples, Peter and Andrew, two brothers, and two other brothers, James and John. It's a wonderful reading. We're familiar with it, I'm sure. It says that Jesus walking along the Sea of Galilee sees fisherman Simon, who was called Peter, and his brother Andrew, and he says simply, come after me. And the text says that they followed at once. At once they left their nets and followed him. And walking along further, he sees two of the brothers, James and John, with their father, Zebedee, and they're in a boat. They were a little more prosperous than Peter and Andrew. They had their own boat. But the same call is given to follow. And it says, immediately they left their boat and their father and followed him. What is it about this reading that is so attractive and pleasing to us? Every time I read it, I get a, a good feeling, a feeling of peace somehow, a feeling that um, Jesus is with us, calling us, calling these disciples. I kind of picture myself in this scene and wonder if I heard that call, whether I would follow, who is this person and what is he offering, or whether I would just run away, run the other way. As far as we can tell, there was nothing particularly um, of interest or perhaps that stood out about these men, four fishermen, whether they were able to read, write, whatever it was, we don't know. They had a simple profession, just fishing. Jesus says to them that great one-liner, fishers of men. But maybe there was something something that kind of stood out, a certain charisma about Peter and Andrew, James and John. Just common people, a reminder to us that God and Jesus calls all of us. We don't have to be saints at the time. We don't have to be great leaders. We don't have to be educated. We don't have to be anything. We just have to be there and hear the call, receive the call, and follow. You know, it's interesting, Jesus doesn't say anything about um, what following him is going to mean. He doesn't offer any doctrine or a set of beliefs or a philosophy. He says, follow me. <clears throat> it's about a relationship, a relationship with Jesus. And we are offered by the Lord a very precious gift, a precious gift of communion. This is Jesus at the beginning of his public ministry, gradually drawing all of humanity to himself, to share with him his intimacy with the Father, to draw us into the communion of the Trinity. And ultimately, in doing so, creating a community among all humanity. We, as God's people, created God's image in the image of the Trinity, in the image of a communion. And now at the very beginning, the very beginning, Jesus is there. And how simple, how simple the whole scene is. When you think about the, oh, the legacy, the what takes place after this, that all of Christianity begins at this moment with this simple call. All that these 2,000 years are begins in that simple, simple fashion along the Sea of Galilee. And Jesus, of course, takes control in that great line, one-liner, I will make you fishers of men. I will make you. In other words, it's not us, not up to us. We think it is. We think it can all be about us, but it's not. Jesus will make us fishers of men. Jesus will transform us. 
we have to be obedient to let go of that big ego and self-will, and Jesus will form us. It won't be easy. We know that all of the disciples, almost all the disciples, um, were martyred. <clears throat> John suffered a different kind of martyrdom of exile. But uh, the call, the call is a challenge, and these men will see that immediately, wondering and gradually learning who is this person named Jesus. Jesus, who is the Christ, the Messiah. And so in this Feast of St. Andrew, we have what we might call the archetypal call, the archetypal pattern, the pattern of all discipleship, which is an encounter, an encounter with the person of Jesus. Let's listen for that call, and when we hear it, follow immediately. Hold that thought, and we'll see you tomorrow.